He's got more in his than you do. That's okay. Is it? Yeah. No, slightly. No, that should never be happening. No. I should never have more than Nick. No. no, no. <laughs> Why not? Because Nick pounds them like you, the, you take like a he's at the bar in his college night every time we're here. <laughs> I need the full mouth. Oh, I need that. I can't go. I just, I need that. So when I take my gentle first after my nosing, I down it. And then I get all. I just burn everything it. real quick. <laughs> I just get through so everything. The other four episodes of trash. Stretched out. There you go. I like it. I like it. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Keeping It Neat with Derek and Nick. I'm Derek, Certified Bourbon Steward. I'm Nick, Certified Bartender. And we're back, Nick. Yeah. This is episode 19 right now. We're here. I think. <sighs> yeah, we're crushing them. We're getting through them. Yeah, I think you got and that. We, and we started changing our clothes. If you haven't noticed in the last couple episodes, <laughs> we tried. We, we're doing stuff, so you yeah. can actually tell it's a different one every time you, you look can. at it. You can. You can. Absolutely. Look at you. Got your, your I flying got my colors eagles today. Yeah, you do. Very so this, patriotic. So I had to wear this for the first episode back um, <laughs> for us because I have a story. A story? This past weekend, I was uh, actually at one of my best friend's <laughs> wedding. I was in the wedding. And... Friday night, I walk into the uh, Friday around midday. I walk into the liquor store with my buddy. We're gonna get stuff for the weekend, and um, and I walk around. I'm like, I don't know what I'm feeling, and sure enough, I come across the whiskeys and bourbons, Woo! folks. What do you think I find? Right. Eagle Rare, Rare baby. Woo! Sure enough, good. yeah. Um, and it was. Did you purchase? I think it was. I did. It was okay. thirty six. That's about average. Yeah, and it was in a um, it was a little rinky dink place, and I I felt like it was kind of like. One of those, I was up near Mount Washington, <coughs> so it was one of those like in the middle of nowhere little shops. It wasn't a big store, so I feel like all right. If I was in a bigger liquor store, I bet it would probably would have been like thirty two. I think was mm. what it had said originally. Yeah. Um, but I still thought thirty six yeah. was reasonable. We put a dent in it. Yeah, over the two whiskey, all night we drank that, but over the two days, I only have a quarter of the bottle left. Out of one, you're growing. <laughs> we had so much fun. You now. Uh, shout out to Eric and Katie. Congrats again to you both. And congrats, guys. Yes. So fun stuff. But awesome. That's yeah. great. Wow. Look, look at you. I know. So I had to wear the shirt. I oh, thought it was right. That's a perfect. In, you know, yeah. coming into that. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. So let's get into this bad okay. boy. You ready to whiskey? Ready and able. Let's go. I can't believe how many episodes it took me to get that. That's all right. It's there now. Yeah. It's ingrained in you. No, I just don't have as many outtakes as to use in the beginning. That's, All right, I'm smelling a little corn, maybe butter. You know what it, it's... And maybe caramel. You know, and I don't know, going for the sip. Okay. What do you think? Any Anything else you smell? It's definitely got... It's the, it's definitely sweet, got a yeah. sweet smell to it there. And it's that, honestly, the vanilla caramel. It's very light. It's, it's, it's got to be one of them. It's one of those. It's the vanilla caramel again! I'm going right. in. Give it a sip. Ooh, that's delicious. Ooh, that's very good. Um, got a little bit of that corn on that, definitely. Is there honey there? It yeah, actually, it's, it's sweet. It, it's, I'm now wondering if it is vanilla and it's not caramel. Could be. Okay, it could be butterscotch. Could be, but I'm not Ooh, right. maybe butterscotch, actually. Because it's got that candiness to it. That is good. It's very tasty. Hmm. That's enjoyable. A light See amber. Dealing. See what I'm dealing with here. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah a, it's, it's a nice little color. It's got that drip. That oh, drip it's got drip. yeah, it's got the legs hanging on there, so yep. it's got a little little viscosity to it. It's All right, to the sides of the can. So over to our oh yes. new additions. I new additions. I, after the last episode, when you poured a whole cap full of water all over your leg, I figured yeah. we we're gonna go a little more. I appreciate uh, accurate you going with this. Out of your so way. we're going with the droppers. So I purchased a few droppers here, so we can go. We've it's got a long a, dropper. It is a long dropper. I'm gonna well, do a little. Size doesn't matter though. Do do. <laughs> But that's what I've been told anyway with your dropper. Um, so, but yeah, I'd go easy because that's. What, oh, you want? Yeah, actually, you know what? Put a couple in there. Two, three. Right there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm gonna go with that for right now. We'll bring it down a little bit. I can play with. It's not a lot of alcohol day. going on here. Uh, no. Though we got regular, we've got regular spring water, and we actually have limestone water that's used for mixing. Wow, you guys went all out. Went all I'm out, impressed. buddy. Yeah, we get the limestone water over so there. So I thought that that was going to be caramel or vanilla, and I thought we were going to like be like, I thought you were going to come out with this whole thing Ooh, when I first came up. here. Like, hey, I figured it out, man, and we're going to be able to figure it we're out We're going to just be dropping and I, vanilla and caramel on our tongues, and, I was like, and we'll get I'm it all. I'm in. Like, I'm thinking melted <laughs> caramel. I'm like, I, 
You can see where you know, I'm it's at now tonight. I have something else to do in between episodes and go out and buy some <laughs> and we'll be working. Sunday. <laughs> Hold on, Nick, are you getting any of this on there? Here's some banana in there yeah. too. Ooh. It actually opened it up a little bit with the uh, flavor. Yeah. I actually feel like it got not harsher, but it definitely brought those flavors more to life. Yes. Um, Whereas they were definitely more subtle before. I like it. It's good. Uh, I think I know what I want to put down on my board. Um, I think I do anyway, but those rice sneak up on me all the time. All right. I'll give you the actual what I'm doing with this, but feel free to discuss. What you I made. will discuss. I have a feeling that it might be a Tennessee. Ooh, okay. At 38%. Hmm. And the only reason why was I felt like there might have been some, like, the honeyness, sweetness in there. I'm feeling like either Tennessee or Kentucky bourbon. I'm mm -hmm. feeling it's in that region of the world. Yes. And I could be completely wrong. Completely wrong. <laughs> well, I went with the bourbon. Okay. 45% right. alcohol. In there. It's not a lot of burn in there. Definitely not. You yeah. know, it's very, it's it's really easy drinking. It's not harsh. Another, it's a really good sipper. I mean, I would sit here all night and drink that. That's, oh, that's easily. delicious. This is, this is so, very nice. I'm going there. with the bourbon. Now, before we reveal. Oh, no, we, uh, have, we got to do our, oh, yep. There he is. Able. The mass crusader. He's ready. Coming to you. Going to save everyone. Pow. Pow. That's what he does, folks. Pow. He's right ready. in the kisser. Uh, Abel, <laughs> not faster than I anything. think he got into the whiskey. I think he did. Us. He might have. So let's All do right. our little uh, voting here. I am gonna go. <laughs> there we go. All you right. should like totally like play that with him falling in slow motion. I'm like, mm -hmm. Hello, darkness, yes, my old friend. And tip it over. Okay. Maybe I can add it. I, I've been I've been getting better at the editing. I'm adding more and more stuff. Hey, so what? no, I'm good. I'm really, I know where I'm at, man. I, okay. Uh, I'm gonna right. go first. I'll just put mine out. I'm gonna, okay. give, it, I'm gonna give it a solid three. I like it. Okay. Three and you? What you decide? Do we like, need more? Do you I have? You're gonna go. I'm gonna go with seven. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed this one. Folks. It was good. I, yeah, it's definitely. I'm actually gonna go. Wow, this is huge, folks. Just seeing it here. Three and a half. This is one of the biggest numbers I think you've thrown up. No, I, I don't think know. you've thrown up a three and a half before. They're not easy. They don't, I haven't they're not easy higher. to come by. They're no. not easy to come by for Maybe two. Maybe this is the second episode I might have done that. Okay. I'd have to go back. We will. We'll have to see. You wanna wanna I'm open up and see? What, wanna wanna unveil what we got going on inside the jug? Oh, we're both wrong. It's a Canadian whiskey, sir. Not even close. close. Not even. Had those. You know, remember, I, remember I said and the this rise. Is why it's a blind tasting. tasting. Yeah. It's a guess. It is. Oh, forty percent alcohol. That was five over. The yeah, you were close. You were close with the two. Was I? What, yeah, what is it? it? It's forty. Oh, okay. It is a Caribou fruit. Crossing. Caribou Crossing. I like the leaf. Yeah, that's so a, Canada. A, so Canada. Go Canada. So yeah, so Caribou Crossing. I. It I'm is dumbfounded. Couldn't find any mash bill on it, so we don't know. But okay. there's probably more a lot of rye in there. Um, yes, I will see that. Was, yeah, definitely right. Well, uh, up there anyway in the content, but couldn't find anything. Eight proof, forty percent alcohol, no age statement on it. But to be called a Canadian whiskey, it has to be aged at least three years, anyways. But there's nothing I could find on it. It doesn't say. Um, Caribou Crossing claim lays claim to being the world's first single barrel. So this is a single barrel. Okay. Um, Canadian whiskey. In addition to being a single barrel, its packaging shares many similarities with Sazerac's Blanton's Single Barrel Bourbon. Remember the Blanton's we had the hand grenade last week? Oh, yeah. The other one? Okay. Um, similar to that. Um, oh, because the parent company is Sazerac, which is also... Who do? Full circle. Mind blown. Um, each barrel in that each is bottled by hand. So they have bottled by hand. Car uh, Caribou at the Old Montreal Distillery is where this one is bottled in Canada. And similar to Blanton's brown bag, each bottle of Caribou is packaged in a blue pouch, which it did come with a blue pouch, but you're not going to find that because that's not the way I keep them around. Um, ooh, look at this. Nose. It's caramel. So we were right. We're going caramel vanilla. We'll just say it every time and eventually we get it right. <laughs> well, I did. His yeah. marshmallow. Maybe that was the vanilla, I thought. Could be. Because marshmallow is very yeah. similar. I uh, love marshmallows. We so. said corn. Corn is yes. white oak. So, um, so even though we didn't guess it right, at least... But the palettes and notes now, there. See, this is the, this is the uh, things that kill me with these things, is the finish, the finish is on the short side with vanilla. So it's got caramel on the nose, vanilla in the taste, and 
So we so I guess okay, we're right. hint of melted marshmallows pulling through. Okay, now wait a minute. Let's go back then. When I first smelt it, taste like the first initial, I was like caramel. But sure enough, later on you we did say went but yeah, vanilla. vanilla. Yep. So and then we'll um, go. Well, maybe we'll get. What do you think away. this bad boy costs around costs? these parts all the way from Canada? Forty-two. Who you're close? Fifty-two. I've actually, you know, I mean, we were out the other day. I had never seen this before. I'd seen the bottle. We bought it, and then we came across one. And it was like we saw there was like. 20 of them on the shelf and they have like a different top where they have actually actually caribou top so you can see this is i think the older style the newer one has the caribou on top of it so it'll That's like cool. similar to the bland's bottle had has the horse this one it just has the caribou on top I'm of it kind of shocked by that that um amount 52. i feel like that's up there i thought 42 hours well most yeah it's for canadian whiskey i think that is but i don't know the aging i don't know what's going on with it i mean it's by sazerac so that's you know similar to blanton's yeah, and if it's it's bottled and so, but I wish I knew the mash bill on it because I would really like to know. Like, I mean, if you get in the corn in there, there has to be some corns because they wouldn't. We wouldn't be getting any corn out of it. So, what do you think? Um, would you suggest for someone to buy this? I would suggest for someone because I think it's a real. Out of the Canadian whiskeys, mm. I like this one the best so far. Oh, yeah. That we've tried. The, remember the JP? We had the JP Wiser a while ago, and that was we gave it the. Nah, nah, it was fine. Nah. It was fine. So, you know, so we gave that one, but this one above that one, I would definitely go with this one. I thought it oh, was, yeah, I mean, it's, it honestly, it sipped more like a bourbon and came off across to me as a bourbon. Yeah. Just, the, just the flavor profiles I was getting from it. So okay. now I don't know if that's because of the Blanton's and Blanton's, you know, Sazerac owns it. It might be the same mash bill. So you could be getting very close to what you're dealing with, with the American bourbons. Okay. So, but other than that, I think it's pretty darn good. It is pretty good. Not bad. I'm, 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 so, I'm happy with I'm, my three. I'm very happy that this, we just came out running today. We did. We just hit it. Good ah, episode. Good, good episode. episode. Crush it. Woo! Woo! Already in. Would you like some more? Because I can pour some more because we actually have the bottle out now. Mm, yep. Oh, yeah, boy. Here we go, folks. Here it is. <laughs> this is how it starts. The bourbon may, may have cut me a little bit short and I won't hold her. Yeah, she might have shorted him a little bit. I won't hold her responsible, but I will. Now, when you... You, you oh my the, god! Okay. Oh, sorry, that was Thank that's, you. that's my regular pour, so I don't and know. And the show is now over. Yeah, yeah, I put a little less for me. Um, but I had more than you to stop. I was so. like, oh my gosh. Score! So it's got some heaviness to it, too. Oh, how heavy it is? Yeah, I, I don't know why you're You can right. sniff the whiskey. I mean, you <laughs> have like, it in, your, in front of you, yeah. Ooh, second that's, like a pack that's of gonna, You know what? This is very rich in cork. I like the if corkiness. If this wasn't going back in there, I'd suck it like a pasta. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for not doing that. You're I welcome. appreciate it. Your that, guests, yeah. besides me, might yeah. get a little. Be frown upon that. Just but. so you know, Nick, my friend, put his mouth on it. You just so you know, but and alcohol so. kills everything they say. So <laughs> it's almost like the five second rule. We're good with it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a good one. I'm I'm happy with my score three. I think yeah, me too. Three and a half, totally right so, there. I think we're good, man. I'm good. Doing? So, hey, folks, here's hoping that you find a little bit of luxury. Subscribe and oh, yeah. ordinary life. There you go. <laughs> well, we can do that too. Subscribe down below. It'll be over there in Nick. You know, maybe I'll have some flashy thing in the middle. I don't know. Working on stuff. Thanks, folks. Bye. If you are ready and able to whiskey, be sure to drop a comment below. Hit those like and subscribe buttons and press notifications. Also, follow Keeping It Neat on Instagram. Thanks for watching, kinfolk.